The American dream, the idea that freedom is a possibility for everyone, is born from traditional values such as hard work, integrity, and risk. Through his diligent application of these values, Bill Farley has not only achieved personal and financial freedom, but has become a beacon of freedom and the American dream to all who know him. I really sometimes pinch myself and say, you know, I am and you are the beneficiary of such a great country. Bill has come far since his days as a paper boy. After a variety of successful ventures, at the young age of 35, he became part owner of the White Sox. In the 1990s, his holding company, Farley Industries, which used to own Fruit of the Loom, reached five billion in sales and 55,000 employees. In addition to his business activities, Bill sits on various educational, corporate, civic, and cultural boards. His hard work and dedication to excellence have earned him a variety of awards, including the American Horatio Alger Award. He shares this honor with such notable Americans as Chicago neighbor Oprah Winfrey, former President Ronald Reagan, and Utah's John Huntsman Sr. and Ernest Wilkinson. The Horatio Alger Association has recognized Bill for his individual initiative, hard work, and perseverance over adversity. He has been atop the highest financial mountains, but is also acquainted with the deepest valleys. A proud Chicagoan, Bill currently resides downtown in the Windy City with his wife Shelley and their son Liam. The real American dream is exemplified as much by the journey as by the destination. Bill's journey begins like a fairy tale of the American dream. Bill Farley grew up in a small town in Rhode Island. His parents were hardworking people. His mother was a factory worker and his father a postal worker and musician. My father worked two jobs. Uh, my mother would keep track of every penny when we were young. She was a frugal and hardworking. They both worked very hard. Both talked to my sister and me about the importance of an education, about being honest, hardworking. He never emphasized financial success. And instead of talking about the bottom line, he talked about the value line, the absolute necessity of spiritual and personal values. Because without those values, he knew we couldn't develop the internal compass we'd need to navigate life successfully, and successfully as people, not just as financial entities. Determined to succeed, Bill graduated with a degree in government from the prestigious Bowdoin College in Maine, and continued his studies at Boston College Law School, and received a Juris Doctorate in 1969. He financed his entire law school expenses as a door-to-door -door encyclopedia salesman. It didn't take long for Bill to make a mark in the business world. He began his career with the famous NL Industries in New York, working in the mergers and acquisitions department. After a stint of working for others, Bill decided to pursue his own American dream and become his own boss. During his nearly four decades of business life, Bill has successfully built or managed household name brands such as Christian Dior, Lucchese, BVD, and Fruit of the Loom. Perhaps the greatest factor in Bill's success is his gift for seeing all people as equal and all contributions as important. You don't work for Bill Farley, you work with him. He makes you feel uh, the partnership and the, the, the sense of mutual commitment and respect. Having achieved his own American dream, Bill now mentors people from all walks of life. Bill Farley epitomizes the American dream, and I wanted to touch that. I wanted to be a small part of that. You want to touch it, you want to feel it, you want to grasp it. And Bill is such an accessible guy. Bill is a friend and advisor to many politicians, celebrities, CEOs, and world leaders. Yet he is most often found in the trenches, mentoring everyday people who have a strong desire to succeed. Bill hasn't forgotten how his life began and believes in giving back. His philanthropy has focused on education and children's causes. He has given several multi-million dollar gifts to educational institutions, including his high school in Rhode Island and his alma mater's Bowdoin College and Boston College. With the principles of hard work, service, and a fierce internal commitment to reach his goals, Bill's life teaches that no matter where you start, you can find the freedom American promises to all. We don't know how great we can be. And we, we have a tendency to feel a little insecure at times, or, oh, well, that's good for someone else, but I could never be like that. Well, if you find your passion, 
and that energy wells up in you. And if you can dream and, and start to get committed to that dream and that vision, then you can be successful and far beyond what you ever thought you could. Well, it was wonderful to be here tonight to celebrate uh, with Bill Farley his award, receiving the, the Freedom Award, and one of four recipients this year, 2008. And, uh, you know, it's just an all-star evening, really. Um, wonderful people here, wonderful hosts here in the Wilkinson Center at BYU, my alma mater as of, I think, close to 11 or 12 years now. Bill's a true mentor and someone who has a great ability to share leadership and skills that uh, allow you to excel. I'm proud to be associated with, with Bill and all that his, his drive is going to contribute to all of our futures and opportunities. I know here, as I've spent a lot of time, particularly in the last uh, year, uh, along with some of the special people from Utah, we're involved in a, a new business here in uh, Utah. And so I've had the opportunity to spend a reasonable amount of time in the past year. What strikes me, one of the things that strikes me the most, is the similarity, frankly, in my growing up in this little town in Pataka, Rhode Island, with friends and family that really talked about the importance of family, the, the importance of values, the importance of faith, and the importance of character. And that's what I see in this community. So it's really particularly uh, poignant for me this evening to be receiving this award, knowing that our value systems are so similar, whether you're, frankly, uh, from the East Coast or the West Coast or somewhere in between. Uh, we had a great night tonight, a uh, nice dinner. Uh, there were hundreds of people here, and it's just been a, another great step for Bill and what he's accomplished, but also for us as we to be a part of this great event. And it was neat to have his life story told tonight in a video and with a gracious acceptance speech that he gave where he was able to share with everybody really, you know, what's possible in America and why Bill Farley is the embodiment of what that American dream is. That we are in a special moment in time, we're in a special place, we're in a special country. And I say, only in America, God bless all of you. Thanks so much for this award. Appreciate it. Thank you. And I was um, in awe. Anytime Bill receives an award, because he's so surprised I would be receiving. No, an that's award. not true. That's not true. I think he's very. Uh, you know, he, Bill has done a lot of great, great things, and I. But I, I'm just, you know, to hear all of the speakers tonight and what they have gone through in their life to achieve their success where they are today and how they've gone on to share it with other people, I think, is really an amazing quality in all of them and I and I think it's really great with Bill. Well he like inspires me to like do better in like school and like sports and stuff so yeah he's an inspiration. It's a great evening and uh, there was some very I was honored to be part of this uh, ceremony and awards dinner uh, there were some just uh, wonderful awardees and uh, I'm humbled to be part of that group. I love my dad and uh, yeah. pleased and proud to be part of uh, this event and it's a great day and my family's here and we're going to be riding in this uh, convertible and saying hello to everyone here in Provo and Utah. And I noticed in my closet I had these uh, great red shoes. I haven't worn them in a couple years. But on the 4th of July with these pants and these shoes and this car, it seemed exquisitely appropriate.